Hello, Year 10. This is Miss Teresa. Today, I will be talking about refraction. Our lesson objective for today is to discuss refraction of waves. And success criteria, I can answer questions regarding refraction of waves. What is refraction? Refraction is the change of direction of a wave as it passes from one medium to another. First, let's differentiate reflection from refraction. In both cases, the direction of the incident rays change. For speed, it does not change when it is reflected, but it changes when refracted. The wavelength of light does not change when reflected, but changes when refracted. And finally, for the frequency, it does not change for both reflection and refraction. Here are the keywords we need to remember when we talk about refraction of light. Let's say two media of light, one medium is a glass block and the other is air. The sides of the blocks are called interface. The interface is the boundary between the two media, air and glass, where the normal is drawn perpendicularly. This is the incident ray, which comes from the light source. It makes an angle with the normal, which is called incident angle. As the light ray passes from air to the glass, it bends and forms the refracted ray. The refracted ray forms the refracted angle with the normal. This ray of light will emerge out of the glass block as an emergent ray, which is parallel to the path of the incident ray. The emergent ray forms an angle with the normal, called emergent angle. The emergent angle is equal to the incident angle. How do light rays behave as they pass through one medium to another? If the light ray is perpendicular to the interface and it passes from air to glass, the light ray will just pass through unbent. When the light ray is incident at an angle to the interface and it passes from air to glass, the light ray will bend towards the normal. This is because the light ray slows down from a rare medium to a dense medium. The angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction. Finally, if the light ray is still at an angle to the interface, but this time it passes from glass to air, the light ray will bend away from the normal. This is because the light ray becomes faster from a dense medium to a rare medium. The angle of incidence is less than the angle of refraction in this case. Here are the laws of refraction. First, the incident ray, refracted ray, and the normal at the point of interface all lie on the same plane. And the second, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of the angle of refraction is constant. If we change that into a mathematical equation, sine i divided by sine r is equal to a constant number for a specific type of substance. This constant number is denoted as small letter n and is called the refractive index. So n is equal to sine i divided by sine r, which is also called Snell's law. n is also equal to v1 divided by v2, where v1 is the speed of light in the first medium and V2 is the speed of light in the second medium. And N is also equal to C by V, where C is the speed of light in vacuum, which is always equal to 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meter per second. And V is the speed of light in any medium that the light will pass through. But what is refractive index? Let's see some values of refractive index of some materials. Material, let's say vacuum, it has a refractive index of 1. Whereas air has a refractive index of this number. Water, 1.33. Glass, 1.5. And diamond, 2.417. Question, in which medium will light bend the most? The answer is diamond because it has the highest refractive index. These values are specific to the material wherever they are in the universe. Another question, what does n is equal to 1 mean? 
it means that the light ray is not bent at, as it passes through this medium. Therefore, RI or refractive index or N in other books is the measure of the bending of light when passing from one medium to another. Refractive index has no unit. Look at this diagram. When we look at objects submerged in water, we see them closer to the surface of the water than where they really are. This is called their apparent depth. The real depth of the object is farther down. This also defines the refractive index of the medium where the object is submerged by the equation n is equal to real depth divided by the apparent depth. When white light is incident at an angle from one side of a prism, this will be refracted inside the prism. But as it emerges from the prism, it forms the spectrum. This phenomenon is called dispersion. This happens because white is a mixture of all the co colors in the rainbow. Now let's solve some problems. Figure A and figure B show wave fronts of light approaching the surface of a plane mirror and the flat surface of a glass block respectively. The waves approaching the block in figure B have a speed of 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and an angle of incidence of 65 degrees. The refractive index of the glass of the block is 1.48. Calculate the speed of light waves in the block. So in this case, we need to define our given. So this one, 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meter per second is the speed of light in air. 65 degrees is the angle of incident, incidence and 1.48 is the refractive index of the glass block. Now we know that N is equal to the speed of light in the first medium, which is air, divided by the speed of light in the second medium, which is the glass block. But in this case, we are trying to solve for the speed of light in the block glass okay glass block now in this case this is n we need v glass as our um, uh, we need it on one side so let me just clear that up now we're going to rewrite okay so n is equal to v air divided by v glass okay now we need v glass so we'll put it on the other side there for v glass is equal to V air divided by N. The velocity or the speed of light in air is 3 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meter per second divided by 1.48. Now if you're going to use your calculator to solve for this, it's 3 to the power of 10 9 to the power of 8 divided by 1.48. So the final answer to this will be 2.03 times 10 raised to the power of 8 meter per second. Let me write it. Okay. The answer to this is 2.03 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Now let's go to the second part of the question. The second part of the question is asking us to calculate the angle of refraction in the block. There are different equations for refractive index and in this, this case we are going to need the um, formula with the angles in it. So it's the easiest one actually. N is equal to sine I divided by sine R. Sine R. Okay. The N is given and the I is also given, if, um, angle of incidence, but R is not given, angle, angle of refraction. Therefore, we're going to rearrange this formula so that sine I, sine R will be on one side. Sine R, now in this case, sine R is equal to sine I divided by the refractive index. Okay, so we're going to substitute that sine of 65 divided by um, 1.48 so the answer here 
is equal to 0 0.68 okay but is 0 0.68 the final answer no it won't be so let me write that again sine i sine r now is equal to according to that calculation zero point oh, it's not 0 0.68 0 0.61 okay this is not the final answer because this is equal to sine of the refracted angle which is r okay so how are we going to get r only we're going to get the inverse sine of 0 0.61 which is equal to 37.8 degrees okay if i'm wrong please check me i'm sure you studied this in mathematics already now let's go to the second part the second question this second question is for you to do you have to do it in your notebook as well as the second part of the question you need your protractor as well as your scales okay so um what have we learned today we learned to discuss uh, to answer questions <laughs> regarding refraction waves and uh, keywords that we need for refraction and that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson this is mr Essa signing off and thank you have a nice day